Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we are going to use the Trimming the Tree stamp set <clears throat> and I am going straight with uh, an idea from the catalog. It's on page 43 of the annual catalog and I have chosen to do, I did the sample in the uh, Blushing Bride with uh, accents in the Pear Pizzazz and uh, the main tree in uh, soft sea foam. Um, so the one in the catalog is actually in uh, Old Olive, but I chose to do it in uh, the lighter color. I used the greeting right from the kit, the Happy Holidays, and I cut it out with the um, Stitched Shapes uh, dies. Um, the one in the catalog has a piece of ribbon underneath and it goes straight across. I chose to do it in an angle. I quite liked that. Um, and they used red uh, mini gems to decorate the tree. I used the champagne rhinestone basic jewels because I like the way they glitter. It almost looks like the tree is lit up. So I am going to do the sample or the demo today in the soft sea foam. Um, I really like it in the Blushing Bride. Uh, but let's see what it looks like in the soft sea foam. So what you'll need is a soft sea foam card base. You'll need another piece of soft sea foam cut four and three quarters by three and a half. And then you'll need a piece of basic white cut four and a half by three and everything layers up. This layers directly down and then you dimensionalize this piece onto the card base. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pop these off to the side here so you can still see the measurements. I'm just pop those over there for now. So what we need to do to get started is just create some space. Um, I'm using the larger of the two stamps in the soft sea foam for a lighter background. So I'll just ink my stamp up and to make space here. I seem to be out of space today. And we're just going to pop this down kind of in the middle-ish knowing that we're going to put the uh, kind of bucket or pot for the tree at the bottom and a star at the top. So that's got the soft sea foam tree stamped down and you can see how it got just a little bit darker when it dried. That's quite often uh, the stamps aren't 100% true to color until the ink has indeed dried. So we'll take the pear pizzazz and we'll layer this over top. It's not meant to fill in the spaces exactly. It's meant to kind of look like you're looking into the dark recesses of the tree and then you've got um, snow or just soft um, tips on the tree itself. So I'm going to come in with my Blushing Bride and I'm going to put the little tree stand or the pot right at the bottom there. I've overlapped the, the greenery just a little bit because the greenery would come in front. And now I'm going to put the star at the top and I'm going to overlap the top of the tree just a little bit with that as well. Okay, so uh, stamping is all done. As I said, I already did the greeting and cut it out with one of the stylish shapes dies. So normally I don't do like a plain, plain background. I like to do an embossing folder or designer series paper. This completely works as a very, very simple, straightforward card. And I love the soft colors for Christmas. Um, traditional colors are great, really quite like those as well, but I love soft colors uh, for Christmas cards. So I resisted doing a lot of Christmas cards. Um, people had started already in October and that's fabulous. Um, I didn't want to kind of burn out on Christmas cards, so um, I will be doing mostly Christmas cards from now on. I have missed a few videos over the last couple of weeks. It's been uh, a little bit crazy here between renovations, um, working full time, and uh, finishing up my first year back at school in the evenings. So a little bit busy, lots of projects on the go. 
Um, so that's the card all mounted up and I need to change the blade on my cutter because it's leaving little fuzzy edges. So I've put one dimensional right in the middle of the card knowing uh, that I'm going to dimensionalize the banner. So I'm putting the dimensionals for the banner on either edge, just so you don't build up a lot of bulk in the card. So we'll take those off. And then the, like I say, the card in the mag in the catalog has this straight across with some ribbon underneath. I quite actually like it at a bit of an angle. Just adds that little, little something to it. So I'm going to take my champagne rhinestones and I'm just going to pop some onto the tree. And so they look like lights. So this is, um, again, using the trimming the tree set. Uh, it's out of the annual catalog, so it will be available right through until the end of the catalog period. I was just thinking, how can I use this in other ways? I've used the, um, so the Christmas season set a lot um, for cards, but not for Christmas cards. So I've, uh, I'm always looking at ways to extend the use of a stamp set beyond the seasonal. So let's just bling these down. So yeah, we'll just finish up putting the bling on just so it looks like there's a few lights uh, winking through the leaves or the um, needles on the tree. So there we go. And you can put as much bling or as little bling as you like on the card. I'm actually, I'm going to put one more, sorry. I'm going to pop one more down there like that. So there's our two versions of the card, one in Blushing Bride and one in Soft Sea Foam. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer and let's create together again soon.